I'm Skyler. One of the things a lot of us geeks got excited about with iPod Touch, iPhone, and iPad was the ability to do presentations and to make them interactive in a way that you hadn't been able to before. So let's take a quick look at Keynote for iPod. Now, I'm actually just going to use the uh, demonstration Keynote that comes with the software Keynote, um, which is the learning to use Keynote uh, presentation. And it's pretty straightforward, but you'll get a really good idea of what you can do with it. So up here in the right-hand corner, I just tap Play, and there's the first slide. I just swipe in order to change to the next slide, and I keep going. Any animations I have will play automatically. You might see one of those in a second here. But if you download Keynote for your iPod and start messing around, you'll see some really cool stuff. So you can imagine if you had a presentation like this set up on an iPod or an iPad, you could actually just hand it to somebody. And there's a really cool feature of Keynote that allows you to advance slides based on where you tap on the screen. And so you could even set up a document that has hyperlinks within it. So you could set up a table of contents, and those uh, links would take you to different slides. So it's really quite powerful. And then there's another application called Keynote Remote. So if you were doing a presentation on a computer, a Mac specifically, and wanted to be able to move around the room and look at your presenter's notes as well as see a clock and have control over the presentation, you'd download Keynote Remote to do that. So with Keynote and Keynote Remote, you can put together some really compelling demonstrations and interactive presentations on iPod Touch. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler. Thank you.